Hey, what's up you money makers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to cover two penny stocks that are having a super super potential in terms of the price spike. There are some similarities between these two penny stocks and these are the penny stocks for September. So watch out the full video. Both are the meme stocks. Both have strong communities behind them. Both have a long long term uh, relationship with their investors as well. They're both Reddit and Wall Street friendly stocks and there is a community behind that from Reddit and Wall Streets and both are the penny stocks. The second thing is they have two big catalysts coming up for both these penny stocks with a ton of upside and potential based on the hype, based on the community, based on the interest and based on the uh, popularity as well. And the third thing is we do not really have the solid dates for both of these stocks in terms of the catalyst and we are all kind of trying to figure out when these catalysts are going to pop up because we may not even have time before we see the spike or maybe see the downturn based on what the catalysts bring uh, bring to us and there might be volume spike in between there will be volatility there will be short volumes there will be rumors as well along the way so let's talk about these two penny stocks the first one is HCMC you're not new to this stock if you're watching my uh, channel pretty closely as we are moving into the next week, I wanted to share these two stocks and I wanted to keep in mind what are the catalysts, why you should not worry about the FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt, and what should you keep in mind. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, so I would like to ask you to do your due diligence as well. This is not a financial advice, this is just for entertainment purposes, and you really want to invest the money that you're willing to lose so that doesn't wake you up at night. So let's talk about HCMC. Before we go there, I would like to ask you if you can click on the like button if you can click on the subscribe button that will be super super helpful and you can turn on the notification bell that way you can get notified every single time i post the video i've been posting a ton of information around a ton of penny stocks that have great potential uh, we also talked in our private discord about many of the penny stocks that we talked about we made some great profit and this both these stocks are uh, two two way play. The first one is you keep uh, you you buy and hold for a long period of time, and you will be getting return on the investment. That's one choice. The second one that you can do is you can buy because both the stocks might have might be representing good buying price point because they are uh, they have dipped a lot since their peak, and there will be potential for swing trades along the way even before the catalysts are out. So let's talk about the first stock. It's CMC Healthier Choices Management Corp. I'll try to keep this video very short for both these stocks. And I want to give you to the point information right here, right now. 0 0.0006, the stock price, pretty low in my opinion. It was up 9%. As you can see, the company is 199 million, a little bit below it went in terms of the market cap uh, with the price point of 0 0.0006. It has lower volume these days. Their, their revenue is between three to four million consistently across uh, across all the quarters um, their net income is a tiny bit but they have I'll share they have a strong balance sheet this company has a very very strong balance sheet but before that I want to share with you that they have huge short volume now if you take a look right here the short volume is 40 33.98 34 24 25 34 and 29.25 FINRA short volume 29.25 is not a huge short volume for HCMC. Yes, in general, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty high short volume ratio. But considering, uh, once again, HCMC is a meme stock, one of the popular stock on Reddit and uh, Wall Street bets community. And there, there was a ton going on back in the days. It's an OTC traded stock. Still, we see this massive volume. We have seen the volume for HCMC up to 40 billion shares within a trading session so think about it the volume spiked up on the um on the 9th of september a day before friday so thursday and we saw even higher short volume so 10 point more 10 points more than the previous day 34.07 we had 4.1 billion finra volume with 1.4 billion of short volume so there's a huge short volume there's some huge short pressure so you may see some of the fluctuations based on the short 
short volume, short pressures, and uh, some of the FUD, as I just mentioned, and some of the rumors. Because one of the things that you want to note is one of the big catalysts, and I want to talk about just the catalyst, and we'll move on to the next talk. This is the catalyst, and this is the timeline for the lawsuit. There is the biggest lawsuit that is going on for its CMC um, for the company against Philip Morris. Philip Morris is a multi billion dollar company, and they have filed uh, the lawsuit. Its CMC has filed this lawsuit uh, November, on, in November last year in 2020. It, it, it will be almost one year with this lawsuit and then there is a ton of stuff going on. And this lawsuit usually takes a long time. So if you're looking for a quick win on your investment, this is not for you. Patience is a key with HCMC and it can go either way. It will be a hit or a miss. But think about it. If it's a hit, it's a really good hit into and it has a huge potential to hit 10 times, 100 times return on the investment. So there was a motion to dismiss that was filed by Philip Morris. Its CMC had a chance to amend their complaint, which they did. Philip Morris responded on their amended complaint on August 20th, technically 14 day deadline. And we have been talking about all this. You can see my previous video for more details. September 3rd, HCMC responded back on the response of Philip Morris. So the way it works is there are a couple of back and forth, like a ping pong game before the judge decides. So HCMC responded back it's already done now it is pending for judges decision or ruling just for the motion to dismiss application so the judge will decide whether this case or the last will go on trial or not whether they'll go into the discovery phase or not. So that's where we are pending. So it's not the final verdict on the lawsuit. It's just the motion to dismiss, which is where things are pending for last few weeks or couple of months or more. Now let's take a look why I'm optimistic about its CMC. Its CMC's balance sheet is super, super strong in my honest opinion. They have $29 million cash on hand, cash or cash equivalents. And this was filed June 30th, 2021. Take a look at the company's market cap let's say 200 million dollars is the market cap we're looking at 29 million dollars cash on hand so they have 15 percent compared to their market cap cash and cash equivalents on hand they have 53 thousand dollars in receivable 1.9 million so almost 2 million dollars in inventory and uh, a chain a little bit into prepaid expenses so on and so forth with that they have 31.6 million dollars um, in current assets cash and cash equivalents almost equivalents uh, inventory i would consider as almost cash because they're going to sell with profit and the money is going to come back at one point and it'll, it will be in rotation so they have current assets super super good their total asset uh, is 37.9 million which is pretty lucrative as well worse is the liabilities are not as high the total liabilities are close to six million dollars 5.9 million so almost six million dollars that i just wanted to say so they can they can just fight this lawsuit indefinitely compared to the cash that they have they will have no issues paying lawyer bills um the fees for the lawyers and attorneys and whatnot because this is going to be a lengthy process unless they come up with a settlement and we are going to see what happens what the future brings but there is a high possibility about this iqos product and they have a strong response as well and you can watch my previous video and which is why i think that it's cmc could be a good bet and once again i'm not saying i'm not saying anything because i'm not a lawyer i'm not a financial advisor but what i do say though based on my research there is a strong possibility that it's cmc will uh will uh get out of this uh, motion to dismiss which means the judge will rule in favor of it's cmc at least from the response it does seem like pretty strong response there is a phd expert who confirmed that they have tested iqs product and the combustion is happening and people are looking into combustion all of a sudden what is combustion how combustion happens what is the technicality behind it what is the scientific reason what fda says about combustion there was an exhibit j all done going on with it cmc so that's my first stock the second one uh is all of uh, all of us is favorite sensionix holding ticker symbol s-e-n-s this is once again one of the stock that has a huge catalyst coming up for fda approval i'll talk about it the stock is trading at three dollars and 91 cents if you take a look at the five day chart it's down three percent one month chart 17 percent up six months chart it's 23 percent up year to date it's 
it's uh, 320 percent up think about it thousand dollars investment turns into thirty two hundred dollars three thousand two hundred dollars massive gain if someone has just kept the stock for one year uh sorry year to date so bought in january for one year it's even better one thousand dollars turns into eight thousand five hundred dollars and we bought this stock on my channel i mean in in our private discord we have been talking about it we did a pretty good swing trades in sensionic a lot of people are still holding the stock with hopefully profit because they have done multiple swing trades once again i wanted to say the deep ranks analysts are saying the average stock price is four dollars and fifty cents as you can see right here pretty impressive isn't it now looking at the four rating there are three buy and one hold the high is six dollars the low is 3.50 and average price is four dollars and fifty cents as you can see right here now the sensionic is once again it's one of the one of the very very um uh, popular meme stock on, on reddit community and wall street bats and there is a huge potential and up, upside because of the fda approval that they have applied for uh 180 days the company the, the product already the cgm product uh continuous glucose monitoring system product they already have uh, they already have the approval from fda so there is no brainer that they're going to get the approval for 180 80 days it's just a matter of time and the stock may spike up there is a ton going on as well they're participating into this global investment conference that is coming up in a couple of days super super optimistic about it getting visibility getting the word out getting more and more investment um from the investors uh, could be a possibility the stock went up 30 percent in august as we just talked about it uh, it was uh, it went down and it started going back up sensionix has a pretty good future once again this they showed strong accuracy data for 180 day for eight uh, cgm sensors and there's a ton going on with this they have ios uh, compatibility they have uh, uh, um, android compatibility as well so think about it the, the the device that you're putting on the body for the diabetic patient they will be getting continuous monitoring that's a huge huge relaxation and the convenience uh for for the patient as well and they are going their 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 uh, the revenue uh, the revenue projections are 150 to 200 million dollars by 2025 ton going on once again got a ton of exposure um, in terms of the publication and the news FDA approval is on the top of mind for a lot of people take a look at the investor place article we talked in my previous um, previous video as well as you can see the volume is uh, is pretty good as well 15 million compared to the average volume of uh, of 22 million as you can see on my screen right here uh, once again uh, if you take a look at the volume in general uh, it has been going up and down but stays about 10 million dollar volume more or less the stock had seen uh, the low of three dollars and two cents on august uh, August 18th and since then the stock went back up from three dollars to almost uh, uh, three four dollars and twenty cents I want to say four dollars and seventeen cents as you can see just right here once again it went back 385 um, and went back up all the way to 410 so once again done going on with the stock um, I want you to keep in mind as well penny stock a huge potential huge growth if you take a look right here for three months I wanted to show you the chart the chart looks pretty promising it had a pretty good support at two dollars and seventy seven cents but after that we also saw the strong support at three dollars and five cents three dollars and four cents or something along those lines if you take a look at the five day the RSI is 32 shows me very uh, or sole condition at us at the moment macd looks pretty good uh i hope you like this information keep this in mind for september two penny stocks both have same catalyst similar nature of catalyst not the same catalyst the, the nature of the catalyst are same we don't know the date most probably uh it may happen for sensionic maybe within a within a month or so and similarly for hcmc that may happen within a month or so but we do not really have a date i'll keep you posted subscribe to my channel for timely updates click on the notification bell turn on the notification bell click on the like button i will see you in the next video thanks for watching